Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. Boy, is it a busy day and I think this day is going to end with a bang. I'm referring to the, uh, to the, the first debate between President Trump and Vice President Joe Biden. I believe it's going to be a doozy and <laughs> I do not want to be in Chris Wallace's shoes tonight. He is one of, uh, he is one of my favorite reporters. But uh, I don't want to be in his shoes tonight. So here's where things stand right now. According to brand new reporting, the president's sons who were interviewed this morning said that the president pays payroll taxes and he uses loopholes, specifically the same loopholes that Vice President Joe Biden uses. This, I think, is, uh, is very telling. Often it's very important for us as citizens to pay attention not only to what is said, but also what is not said. Now I'm going to provide you with a link to this article from Bloomberg in the description section below. So you can check out the whole article for yourself. But as I read the article, I'm going to give you my analysis of uh, where things are and again, what was said and what was not said. So this happened this morning. Uh, this is what uh, the president's uh, uh, son said. And that's I'm talking about Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. President Trump's companies pay millions of dollars in payroll taxes, real estate taxes and other taxes. Uh, that is what his son said in an interview this morning as they were defending their father against the New York Times uh, reporting on the president's avoidance of federal income tax. So what they said was, as a real estate developer, President Trump has exploited depreciation, tax credits and other provisions of the tax code to reduce his personal tax bill. And now I'm quoting, um, now I'm quoting uh, the one of them and uh, here's a quote. He's paying tens of millions in taxes. Now he's not going to pay more than he needs to. This was said by Donald Trump Jr. Uh, today on the Fox Business Network. And I continue to quote. And by the way, he's following the tax code that people like Joe Biden, who has been in DC for 47 years, have written. He's playing by their rules. Joe Biden is taking advantage of the same loopholes. Um, uh, so there you have it from the president's son. Uh, the sons, uh, the president's sons hold executive positions in the organization. And uh, this is something that Eric Trump said in a separate interview on Fox News. I quote, the amount of real estate taxes my father pays, the amount of payroll taxes, the amount of taxes we pay as a company. But you know, guess what? If you put $200 million into a project, you have things like depreciation, you have tax credits, you have other things. That's part of investing billions and billions in this nation. Uh, and um, he also said, I quote, my father pays a fortune in taxes, so let's get that straight. Uh, and um, so, um, you know, the, the specific amount of taxes the president paid was not discussed, was not asked. And, uh, you know, according to recent reporting, um, and by the way, the thing that the thing that strikes me is that um, the sons didn't talk about the federal income tax component, the fact that it was, you know, supposedly seven hundred and fifty dollars. So they didn't uh, they didn't dispute that, although the president uh, did uh, did say that that was, uh, in his words, fake news. So this way, I want my viewers and subscribers to have both sides of the story. And uh, Joe Biden, just so that we have a point of reference, I do want everyone to have a point of reference. Joe Biden has released uh, 21 years of tax returns. And in 2017, he and his wife, uh, Jill Biden, paid more than $3.7 million in federal income taxes. Now, I, on, in other news, uh, Eric Trump actually accused the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, of leaking President Trump's tax returns to the Times. And he said, uh, I quote, I really believe that this is the IRS scandal of this generation. They're targeting my father because he's doing a great job and they don't like him. And uh, the president, in the meantime, has dismissed the time story as, a, as made up. But the president has declined to offer his returns or any other documentation as, uh, you know, as refuting or as substantiation for the, for, the, for the fact that the New York Times story is made up. And the president said, I quote, actually, I paid tax. He said uh, during a news conference in the past 48 hours, it's under audit. They've been under audit for a long time. The IRS does not treat me well. So there you have it, everybody. That's the latest update. Um, and uh, the use of the word loopholes, I thought was very interesting. Um, the fact that, uh, you know, the there are different kinds of taxes. You know, there's federal income tax, which goes to the government. There's state income tax, which goes to the state. Uh, there's, uh, there's payroll tax, uh, you know, where we're talking about Social Security and Medicare. 
tax. By the way, social security is important. Uh, you know, uh, it's you know, it's probably not important for uh, millionaires and billionaires, but social security is a very, very, very important program for a majority of the country. Medicare is a very important program for a majority of the country. Um, so, um, you know, for for seniors. So, the, you know, the the payroll taxes contribute towards that. So, um, but but the thing the thing that I do want my viewers and subscribers to understand is that um, at the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, you know, um, if the president did indeed uh, only pay seven hundred fifty dollars in federal income tax for twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen, how important is that to you? I mean, that's a decision you have to make. Uh, a lot of data suggests that. 86% of voters across the country have already made up their mind about who they're going to vote for. Uh, and there are 14% of individuals who uh, can potentially um, change their mind. So there you have it, everybody. That is, that is the update. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. If you learn something new, please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, we're working hard for you. Uh, your vote of confidence in us is you clicking the like button, clicking subscribe, clicking notifications. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. It helps me personally. I would really, really appreciate that. I would really appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, for me, it's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white and blue. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm American. Uh, for me, the broader point is uh, what is going on. And, you know, just to give everybody my lens of reporting, you know, I... I take the, I, I, for me, it's about the presidency. So if, uh, in my mind, it's like president and in my mind, I go President Robinson. So if President Robinson did this, <laughs> would I want to report it? For me, it's not about, you know, finding news about, uh, you know, about specifically one person. So this, you know, this is, this is something that I am reporting. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Thank you. Bye.